going on guys it's a real video today and now i'm back with another video for you guys so happy um new moon new moon is all about new beginnings and we are um having a new moon in sagittarius today so that is amazing because sagittarius um governs the ninth house and we are in sagittarius season so happy birthday you see how all of this correlates so let's see what let's see what spirit has for us for this new moon right I'm hoping all of you guys are doing well. If this video starts resonating with you guys, go ahead and hit the like button. And we're going to get right into your reading. Great, what do you have for my lovely collectives today for this new moon? I ask Archangel Michael to come in here and guide us today as I read. All right, so we have the Phoenix rising. Some of you guys are definitely Scorpios. We just left out of Scorpio season. You guys are rising from the ashes. You guys have broken so many cycles and chains, and now you have finally seen the strength and the godness within yourself to know that you are equipped. You went through a major cycle, but look at you rising from the ashes. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. You guys went through a battle, spiritual warfare, and came out rising. Your ancestors, your deities, Father God, right? Coming out, people thought that you wasn't going to rise. And here you go, ready for the next level. Also, 52 uh, reduces down to 7. Divine intervention. Enough is enough. You guys are chosen. You guys are high ranked in the spiritual realm. This was to catapult you to, to your actual mission. For you to see your strength here is what I'm getting. It's like you've been reborn again. You know your passion. You're not taking nothing. You're, you're setting boundaries. You've been like, you, you, you've experienced a major crisis is what I'm getting recently. Such as maybe like a breakup. Friendships, severed, family members, you, you've, you've chosen to walk away. Um, some of you guys may have started a business and it didn't work out. You felt like everything was crumbling down on you is what I'm getting. Devastated events have occurred and you are here to live and talk about it. This is like a renewed you. Representing power. Okay, prosperity. You like have increased vision now on a lot of things that you didn't really want to see for what it was. You're also not wasting time with anyone that doesn't have a future for themselves. Because you, you need to be inspired also. Any relationships that you get in now will grow will grow from loyalty, creativity, love, compassion. Also, any romantic relationships that you are looking forward to getting will be balanced. Yin and yang. One would know how to be the receiver and one would know how, you know, it would all balance out. Your creative side is going to come out in talents that you would never believe. Look, also birth at the bottom of the deck. A rebirth, new beginnings. It is a new moon. Stability, number four. All right, stability. Universal energy brings you opportunities and possibilities. Universal energy brings you possibilities and opportunities. So for some of you guys, it may signify a birth. But what I'm getting right now, it is signifying a rebirth. A fe the phoenix rising. All right? Brand new opportunities. I told you we're in, we're in a new moon, which brings about new opportunities, new possibilities. 
This is you holding on to your ancestors and knowing that you have a mission. For some of you guys, you did pray for a pregnancy and you will have this baby because this baby is going to be a gift for the world. But for some of you, this is a rebirth, a transformation, the phoenix rising from the ashes, a brand new you. You are being rebirthed into a baby again, meaning you have no limitations no more. You have stripped away the ego. Okay? You have stripped away the ego. Yeah. And at the bottom of that, it is the chariot. You have stripped away the ego. You rose from the crisis that you just experienced. Right? And you are now reborn. You are now um, able to start your life over with no ego, with no insecurities, with no poverty mindset, with no limitations. You are in full control. You, you've been rebirthed. And now you are on the go. You, you Your path is lit up. Okay? Charge your head with confidence. Stay strong and focus. You are fully focused in this chariot. You, you're moving it mentally. With your willpower, with your strength, with learning through these cycles, with your with your ambition, with your drive. Okay, let's see what the terror is giving. It's all about a rebirth that you guys are going through from a major crisis. Again, some of you guys left relationships. Some of you guys ended marriages. Some of you guys um, failed jobs or uh, started a business and it didn't turn out to where um, it should be. Some of you guys got kicked out of apartments. Some of you guys left apartments. There's a lot of things that was going on and it had you in a rut and you rose like the phoenix. And we was in Scorpio. So at that time, you rose from that crisis. And now we are entering Sagittarius, which is all about the ninth house. Right? And we are in Sagittarius. You're, you're, you're ready. You didn't stay stuck in that cycle. You're ready to take the next step. Spirit, what do you have for my collectives? Yeah, in love. In love. Some of you guys left relationships that you thought you were going to last and grow old with. And Spirit is saying that it was only to allow you to learn what not to do to people so you can really enter and embrace your real person. But for some of you guys, you needed to look within. Some of you guys were looking outside yourself. And the first commitment in a relationship that you can experience the highest form of emotional fulfillment is with yourself. So some of you guys understood that. And now your angels and your spirit guides are ready for you to enter a relationship where you can actually grow old. Where you can balance out your positive and your negative. Your light and your dark. This is about you making a commitment to yourself. And knowing that you got to love yourself unconditionally. And you are the masculine and the feminine. Everyone has a masculine and a feminine within inside themselves. Some of you guys are literally rising from the ashes, releasing a lot of people that you thought was going to be in your life. A lot of relationships have seven and spirit is saying you're not going to have to deal with that no more. You, you're surrounding yourself with love opportunities. You're calling in your right person. All of this happened for a reason. You thugged it out. You rose from the ashes. The things that was supposed to keep you down, you thugged it out. You, you did it. So now you are manifesting and drawing in that person, your real person, the person that is actually going to be there for you through thick and thin. But that is because you have committed to yourself. And your spirit guys is always watching. Yeah, look, some of you, I have the Herophon. You guys, some of you guys are spiritualists. Some of you guys are meant to teach and lead from experience some of you guys are meant to to teach from the hard things that you went through and allow people to see that it is true you can overcome these harsh crises or experiences the god ra is always watching okay always watching you are heavily and divinely protected okay you are heavily and divinely protected. And your spirit guides want you to know that you've suffered a lot in relationships. And you're not going to have to do that no more. You're not going to have to do that no more. Some of you guys are priestess. Been priestess in your past life. You have vivid dreams. You're attracted to crystals. You're an empath. You believe in hugging trees. You, you like tarot card readings. You find the deeper meaning in life. 
You were meant to teach. You are very wise. All right. You attract a lot of also relationships because people feed off your energy because of who you are. You are the light. You are the daughter of the of of God. You are God. You were sent down here to go through things and inspire others from your healing. From the things that you went through and got yourself out of. All right. And you've always been divinely guided. So now as we are in the age of Aquarius, you are about to reap what you've sown. Nothing has went has went unnoticed with spirit. Spirit is always watching you. But you have to complete certain, certain cycles and tests here in this 3D dimensional universe. But that is the thing about here. We grow and we are everlasting um, revolutionary uh, species. We are always growing and ascending. And this is you growing and ascending in your relationships because that what you would send out on this earth to do. So you can go through the pain, but not show people that same pain. You transmute energy into positive. All right. Yeah. So it's this eight of pentacles. You're able to love that, that neighbor. You are able to treat people for who they are. You are able to treat people for their souls, not how not how society makes them uh, look. Some of you guys are coming out the closet. Some of you guys, um, if scared, need to embrace your sexuality and know that God loves you is what I'm getting. Some of you guys have family members that you just want to love and care for. Some of you guys got best friends that you want to just love and care for, but you haven't had the opportunity to trust. This is going to be a season where you can just be free. This is going to be a season where you can just be yourself. This is this season where you're going to have duality, two and two. This is your eyes. The number twos and the Kabbalah and the Torah, it signifies your eyes. Your right eye is the eye of Ra and your left one is the eye of Horus. Horus is the moon and the eye of Ra is the sun. So with these two cards right here, you're finally able to see what true love is and what that means to you. You are at a stage where you're finally able to appreciate your relationships and knowing that you don't want to burn bridges, but rather connect them. Remember, the right eye is the eye of Ra and the left one is the eye of Horus. The sun and the moon, you're able to see through people and to see real deep and down them in, in their souls. Because you have entered a season of vision and spirit has been working on your crown chakra and, and your throat chakra. You're able to stick up for others and what you believe is love right now. And that is because you are in the Hierophant. You are led by spirit. No one else. The Hierophant is like um, authority figure in the spiritual matters. Uh, a priest. Someone that marries you. You literally don't. You, you follow solely your intuition and spirit. You don't take no advice from nobody. You are fueled by spirit. Some of you guys are very, very tapped in and protected and divine beings. Okay. You were sent down here to really show people that. It can happen no matter what you go through. You've always been protected. You've always been led. And now is the time to reap what you've sowed because we are in the age of Aquarius. Every karma, people are going to really understand what karma is and not knowing and not, you know, moving forward, not to mess with people because you don't know who is divinely and spiritually high ranked in the spiritual realm. Instantly hit with karma when you mess with somebody, especially a Hierophant, which is solely led by spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have the king of swords. Yeah, some of you guys are not letting anybody just tell you anything. You are actually questioning. You are taking inventory. If somebody want to come in your circle, you're like uh, interviewing them. All right? With the king of swords here is what I'm getting. You're not, this is your fortress. This is your mind. You're, uh, you're not letting anybody pass your fortress unless they are equipped. Unless they have the qualities that you feel is right to enter your energetic field. No longer are you just allowing people to sweep past you. You are fully taking inventory and asking questions and being an interviewer to anything that is trying to get into your energetic field. And you are doing it humbly.
okay? Some of you guys also are starting a business and you are actually um, needing to put pressure on an application and know that this is your business and you're not supposed to allow anybody and you go take a deep um, dive into who you are allowing in your space, especially if you're owning your own business and starting out. But what I'm strongly getting is that, you know, you have into a season of flow and compatibility and relationships and duality and a yin and yang aspects of yourself. And that is because you've always been led by spirit. You've always been someone that has been tapped in since you were young. You were different. You felt things. You dreamed things. Uh, maybe you seen things. You just always been led by spirit you've always felt different and now you are coming into the age of aquarius now that you 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 like it who you are you embracing the different who the different person you've always been you are putting the depth to all ego with inside of you and realizing that this is who you are and you're about to embrace it you have a mission here on earth that needs to be taught to these people so everyone could ascend here on earth because you went through it. You've, and you're the inspirer. You've always been led by spirit. No one else. You've solely trusted on your intuition. All right. And, and now you're fully taking inventory and questioning everything around you. Especially when it comes to your energetic field and your mental here. You are taking fully full control on who should um, you allow in your presence and in your aura. And you're taking um, this very, very seriously. Remember, this is your mind here. You're not letting anyone in unless they uh, succeed in the requirements that you feel is okay. And keep up with that energy. I love you guys.